One topic that's come up that um, I've had multiple requests to do a video on is talking about grandparents. And we love our grandparents. Um, I can tell you my, grand, my parents were a absolute godsend when my kids were younger and I had to work and they were sick and things like that. But um, that being said, um, grandparents and other family members for that matter um, sometimes don't understand the issues that our kids are going through. And um, they think, ah, they'll just grow out of it. No, there's nothing going on. Um, but in our heart of hearts, we know that process. I'm asking you to be real patient with them um, because they don't get that unless they've walked this process the way we have. Um, they're not, they're not going to understand it. So be real patient. Um, and I would include them in the process. And we absolutely have grandparents that take their kids here to therapy every week and they are clued in and they know exactly what they're doing. But that's because they're involved in the process and they're vested in learning that. So understand that a lot of this is just plain old ignorance. I don't know. Um, so um, educate them as best as you can tol as they can tolerate and you can tolerate, um, especially for our grandparents that are not in the area. They're at an extreme disadvantage because they're not involved in that process. Then you do a family event, you're in their lives big time and they're going wow and they're overwhelmed. So as much preparation and discussion as you can do prior to an event that you anticipate might be difficult would be really helpful. If you have any written information, um, specific things we've given you, talk to your therapist. They can help you with this. If grandma wants to come in and they want, they, we want to film a quick video of what treatment looks like, um, we can have one of our techs do that. You can send that to grandma. Or if she wants to come in and tour the facility, we can set up a tour on our website, it's not a problem. But realize and understand that there's no way they're gonna follow the same schedule you do if they're doing care for your child. So you have to be prepared to readjust that schedule when you get them back home. And just be prepared to do that so you're not frustrated because if, you, if the roles were reversed and you were in their shoes, you would not understand and probably make the same types of mistakes. Many of our kids have specific diet issues. Many of our kids have specific rigidity with schedules, um, uh, textural issues, um, attention issues, all these different things. And you've been living with and working with it on a daily basis and they haven't. So to make your events um, a little more peaceful and fun and family oriented, set your expectations a little lower. And I think each time you go, as your child changes, they're gonna improve in that process. But I was, it's its for many of you, just like when you have a newborn baby, you send them to a relative and they wanna hold them all the time and do everything you're like, don't hold my baby all the time because it has to learn to self-soothe and sleep and take these the schedule this way and they're just trying to be loving grandparents. And it's the same thing with, with our kids here. So um, I hope this is helpful for you. And um, please feel free to reach out to us if you have any specific questions, but talk to your therapist. They're a wealth of knowledge.